to the Ruan, and welcome back to Napoleon Total War with the Great War mod. We're playing as Austro-Hungary in World War One, and we're going to look today at the first battle of Konrad von Hetzeldorf. We haven't put him in charge of anything until now, and finally he slugged his way. I'm not entirely sure why the Bavarian countryside has been so hard to traverse, but he's um, taken like half a year to actually get to uh, Switzerland. And once he crossed the bridge down here, uh, he was intercepted by a Swiss force. So it's going to be quite the battle for him because he's outnumbered by uh, about uh, 1,500, 1,600 men. Uh, there's a lot of machine guns on the enemy side and they've got lots of cannons as well. It's going to be interesting to see. However, though, the advantage we have is that we're going to start outnumbering the enemy 2 to 1. And then most of their troops are going to get reinforced. They also have a small contingent of French troops that are going to come in and, uh, within quotation mark, help. Um, with that said, let's go ahead and play the battle, shall we? So we have the first battle of Konrad von Hötzeldorf. Um, shout out to the developers here because this battle would have actually been a siege battle or it would have been a square rectangle in the middle or a uh, yeah re rectangle in the middle for the AI and I would have gotten the L shape uh, but they realized the problem I guess seeing my earlier videos of the campaign and I was sent a small file to rectify the problem so Hopefully we won't have those problems anymore, as we can see, which is evident by this battle, which would have actually been a town slash siege battle. With that said, uh, this is my deployment. We start off with a bit of cavalry over there. They're going to try and swing around, maybe attack artillery, unguarded artillery of the Swiss. Uh, I've made a trench line over here. It's a mix of normal infantry and light troops. The light troops will move away um, to take up other positions. We've got uh, the machine guns situated here, kind of so they can turn easily towards that side. But they can also turn to that side where the enemy should be reinforcing. We've got a little bit of a trench line here. And then because there's some walls here, I have placed two units down along these walls so that should be good um, got the heavy mortars here we've got the light howitzers and the forward artillery observer and because I don't know I'm not entirely sure where the enemy is gonna move so I'm a little bit unsure where to actually place the bombs if I place them too close to the edge here the um, the enemy might not walk on to them. Um, the only safe bet is, I guess, in front of these guys. But the thing is, if I do that, there's a risk of my troops getting gunned down because these guys had lots of machine guns. So I thought I'd put them here, given that most likely the AI is going to march to um, sort of reinforce could actually come from the I guess the best idea is actually to put it you know the ground here kind of works we'll place one in the forest over here one right on the road and then one here and then we'll just hope to uh, something that will be able to withdraw these guys to safety and that's the first thing we do as we start so they're going to run, we're going to get the light troops, light formation, out on the flank, we're going to get the troops that are actually going to hold this position, set them up, behind the wall, should be good, we're going to get one of these guys out, it's going to be reserve in the back, and then the other two are going to hold there. So, enemy reinforcements turning up over there. Oh, they're chasing us. The Swiss are chasing us. Um, our troops made it away from that unscathed, though. We'll tell them to march in behind here. Light troops. Let's speed it up a little bit. We have 
We uh, focused the artillery, or maybe it was the machine guns that got him. Not sure. I want to see. They're about to kind of walk on the bombs. The light troop is going to walk on it over here, and then we've got an infantry unit over there. Ooh, the machine guns are starting to fire. They seem to be missing our troops, though. I don't think anyone actually survived out of that unit. They missed that bomb, though. The entire, the entire unit was killed off. There's no one left. But they missed that one, sad face. Um, got some artillery that they're pulling forward, and then there's two machine guns over there, and then there seems to be two machine guns on the hill over there. We made it out, though. We made it out. The machine guns did start to open fire, but I think they actually just shot in the back uh, or in the back of the hill or something. The cavalry is hidden. I'm gonna see about moving quickly into a position here. And they're hot on the pursuit of these guys. At the same time, the reinforcements rolling in under uh, heavy artillery fire. Ah, shit, that's a lot of machine guns they're bringing in. So we've got three groups going straight over here. Our machine gun group probably was the one that killed the enemy general, so that's pretty good. Let's see, we got. They still got one guard unit there. Really experienced one. Would be hard to break that. This machine gun. Is it. This one's clearly rolling to the front line. I'm not entirely sure if they're reorganizing this one to go somewhere else. I want some focused fire on this area. See if we can blast that and then maybe my heavy artillery will actually blast the reinforcement area instead. Okay, they're coming into the forest. One bad thing about this position right here is, uh, of course, that the enemy gets the forest to defend out of. We're gonna get the light units coming in on the flank, ready to fire at will. Still, railgun still firing over there. Yes, they are definitely turning one machine guns to attack. The cavalry will split them up. They can't get both. This one is the one that will attack first. Hopefully they'll turn towards that one. There's a bit of a ridge. They'll hide the cavalry's advance. Oh, it's already getting shot down by the machine gun. Luckily though, I move them behind the ridge. Now they're no longer receiving enemy fire. Oh, now they're firing on this one. Not good. However, they are positioning themselves for a flank attack. That's deadly as hell. Okay, they're turning. They're turning to face the guys that are coming over from here. Uh, seems to be fine right now over there. Charge! Are they gonna get there before they are able to... Uh, it's gonna be too late anyways for them. I'm gonna tell these guys to hold fire and then fire at something else. These guys gonna hold fire. Let's see if you can't get the other machine gun. Ah, cavalry retreated. We got all the guns out of that, though. We got all the guns. Let's see, how's it going over here? Machine guns, slaughter advancing uh, Swiss troops. The Swiss are just continuously marching in front of the machine gun. Not realizing they are ending up in quite a bit of difficulty. Swiss machine guns are firing, but they're firing against our entrenched position. As you can see, there's shot dinging all around here. But they haven't actually killed anyone yet, which is good. 
uh, second cavalry group failed as well. They did, however, destroy that artillery. And we did get quite a lot of... Uh, kill a lot of Swiss troops. Looks like the cavalry unit will be able to get out as well. Over here, um, Swiss infantry getting cut down. Our guys are doing really well behind the wall. Still not a single casualty over here. With all these machine guns firing, we'll uh, start to target them now with the mortar. I think we'll redirect the artillery. These guys are just running into the machine gun. The machine gun's gonna have such a high kill rate for this battle, it's gonna be insane. We still have that one machine gun coming at us. Uh, light mortar, start blasting them. Hopefully we'll be able to break those guys. Engineers will reinforce over here. Have we hit them? I think these machine guns probably more likely to shoot down each other than to shoot down any of us. Right now they they're aiming right here. I guess most bullets are either being soaked up by the forest or by the trees and stuff. And I'm not gonna change position there just to make it easy for them to kill us, so... We need to somehow take out these guys though. These guys need to be killed. And then we've got one unit over there. We'll send the light troops. Followed by the engineers. Blowing up that forest. The machine guns here are having such a field day. Just slaughtering all the Swiss infantry units that came across here. Look at the amount of bodies that's thrown out here. Um... It probably would have been a lot better for the for the AI had they uh, not sent their reinforcement to actually reinforce this, but it goes straight in on the attack. It's not too. It's not actually that necessary to try and deal with them. Okay, this machine gun has now opened fire. Most of those shots seems to be going into the ground. One of the units exploded, so now there's only two of them. And as we advance closer... I think you can get a bit closer, maybe. Yeah. The angle of it should still be that the machine gun's out of range. A little bit concerned about the heavy shots of the artillery landing over here. If these guys get too close, I mean, the, f the most forward shots of that gun will end up right on top of us. Okay, we're gonna fight the guys in the forest now. I'm gonna get one engineer to come on the flank there, and the other one to move on that side. We still have one machine gun. Could be deadly if they roll that up the hill. There's only two guys left. And now the fighting over there is silenced. Most of these guys are just they're firing into the hill in front or uh, above each other. If I can just get rid of the uh, machine gun, that would be nice, because then I can flank 
the unit in the forest. There's a single guy manning the machine gun now. Oh, he's not man actually manning it anymore. We'll target these guys. So now the infantry can flank up and flank the guys in the forest. And let's see if you can move up and flank, maybe. Oh, they have one function machine gun back here. Ooh. That's not good. Where is thing is firing, though? Oh, we're out of ammo? We've been firing so much, some units are out of ammo. Let's see, once this one starts to fire from this flanking position, should be able to actually... Yeah, they're starting to get some kills on these guys. Not the best of angles here, they would need to get closer. With us now inflicting damage, we will advance to actually take them out. More Swiss troops are about to walk into machine gun fire. These guys realizing now that they're outnumbered, surrounded, from kind of all sides. We're starting to take a little bit of damage, but I mean, this unit is surrounded almost. And it's taken out. The machine gun down there was taken out. You guys can just uh, turn around and take that guy out. They're actually rolling a machine gun out there. Let's get these three up front. Maybe we can snipe that one. Why don't you aim for the French? Why don't you target the, uh, the guns over there? That should be fine. So we got some Swiss. Got some French cavalry. Now they're moving in within range of the machine gun. And people are starting to fall. Fall pretty darn rapidly as well. The unit is slowly melting away. And soon it's about to retreat. Let's see, mortar. You haven't really done that much shooting down this place. Oh, we broke it. Nice. Okay, so seemingly everyone here is gone. Might have taken quite a bit of casualties from the machine gun up in the forest, not entirely sure. French general just got cut down. Kind of one of the last units left. French infantry moving forward. The kills for that machine gun is going to be legendary. I'm imagining it's going to be 1500 kills. Thousand is kind of the record we've had before. So I'm imagining around 1500 kills for them. How are they not able to take out this one guy? Oh, there we go. Just when they saw the boss man come to take a look at what was going on, then they they moved into action. They still have three machine guns. Let's tell our machine gun not to fire at will. They fired so many bullets here, none of which actually hit the target. And 
there we go. Victory against the Swiss. Which is mostly all strewn here. And a little bit of French as well. Yeah, the reinforcement tactic of uh, the enemy did not work. Oh, they're actually gonna try and retreat with one of the machine guns. They're gonna um, try and stop it from being a complete disaster. Okay, look at these guys. I said, look. I like how he's looking up into the sky. Like, hmm, when is it? That? When is it our turn? It's a photo op. Look at this uh, Maxim machine gun that we bought. Everyone's dead all around them. There's broken down machine guns. These guys though, they don't give a fuck. Oh, I think they just died. No, it was someone else who died. I think the, uh, the guys that were... Uh, these two died. <laughs> and he's like, ah. I'm not going to drag that machine gun around. Anyways, let's not linger here, shall we? Here's the statistics of that battle, which is, I think, probably the best numbers we've had so far. I lost 359 men, while the enemy lost 4,300 men. So, they lost 4,000 more men than us. I'm actually thinking that the machine gun probably did a lot more whore. It certainly did. That machine gun group managed to kill 2,512 men. Compared to the next one, which is Artillery Forward Observer, which killed 450. And then we have a Combat Engineer, 242. They didn't achieve the maximum post or the experience. There's supposed to be one more star there, I believe. So there's three stars. So they're not entire, but damn. Didn't go well for the Swiss trying to intercept us. They'll have to accept us as their new overlords as we make them into a protectorate. Right. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to end the turn. And then I'm not sure what to do. There's going to be some movements here and there. Ah, yes. No. Before we end turn, we've got this battle, in fact. Ah uh, yes, what was I thinking here? I was thinking, rather than attacking these guys, because they would be heading towards Smolensk, they'll not make Smolensk in one turn, we'll be able to hit Moscow first, and then I can give Smolensk over to the white movement, thereby denying it to the, uh, the Bolsheviks. And maybe we'll get a fight in between uh, the Bolsheviks and the um, the white movement. Now I actually raiding the trade in between the white white movement and the uh, and the Bolsheviks. Uh, but with all of that said, we're gonna go ahead and end turn and see what the enemy has in store for us. Airplane has detected something. Oh, it was just that they turned up, right? They detected themselves. Or is it an enemy aircraft? Oh, maybe it's an enemy re no, enemy researcher. It's our aircraft. It's our research. I don't know. We detected our own aircraft. Great. Um, Conrad von Hetzeldorf mentioned in dispatches. Technological advances, research complete, doctrine, mobile warfare, 
which gets us trench gunners, rifle grenadiers, and light machine guns. We'll see about getting some of those. Um, also, I have started, I should have probably started building them earlier, but we've started the most forward uh, positions that we can actually build them. We start building the tanks. Uh, so I've got two male A7V tanks being uh, made in Milan. And then we've got another two being made here in Kiev. It's going to be seven turns though until they're ready. Um, see if we can't. I think we're going to attack these guys this episode. So we knock that out of the park as well. Keep getting technologies. As submachine guns is about six turns away. Then we get the Yacht Commando with machine guns. So that'll be good. And then there's more... Um, there's more... what's it called? Oh yeah, these guys were waiting for that. And now they're ready. They'll go on board. And then we'll land them somewhere. We'll watch out for the port. I think I want to land here in the more open area. Rather than down... Um, down close to... Oh, did they raid my port? I guess they did. We'll send that small cavalry unit, just so they cannot go inside and raid it. Stupid Italian force. We need to chase it down and destroy it. we got two open slots, so we can get uh, Landwehr to cover. Nothing seen up here. Let's end the Swiss. This is definitely an outer resolve. We lost 70 men while the Swiss lost 1760 men. And we, within quotation marks, liberated the Swiss. And we got two infantry battalions from that. Switzerland! It's a new nation and he got a cornet. Cornetto. Hmm, Cornetto. Uh, he got... So he gets one plus when leading um, cavalry. And so we... The Swiss, they're very unhappy right now. The bourgeoisie could lead to a revolution, who knows. They're very unhappy with us. Historical grievance. Forced military alliance though gives us 30 plus. And now we can trade with them. <laughs> they, they demand Carl Lippmann. Sure, we'll, uh, we'll allow you to have that. Very nice. Uh, those extra troops. The thing is, cavalry is so useless, sort of. They're not really that useful, are they? We'll disband these two and we'll put these guys in there. Thing is though, we're running out of enemies. And if I want to actually use the tanks on something, um, I think we'll, we'll still get rid of the Italians. The Italians need to go. Bye bye, Italiano. However, I think we're gonna hold our advance on Paris. So that uh, we don't run out of enemies to actually use our tanks on. I'm pretty sure the tanks will... It depends on how fast the tanks are. Because if that takes a long time to actually get them up to the front line. Which I imagine it would do. Uh, we might... It's going to be hard to actually get them to uh, be part of this. We'll get there in one more turn. What else? Yes, the uh, Tirole Kaiserjäger and an infantry battalion. And then, more, yeah, that's the entire group. That's the entire grouping that's going forward. So that is set up. 
Romanian attack. We're at the border. And then we'll be able to use gas on the Romanians. And then the Soviet fight. I think we'll actually skip the Soviet fight today. Um, we'll do that next video. And I think that that's it. Hopefully we'll be able to get the tanks going. This army will be fixed for a refight against the uh, Lithuanians, which they don't seem to have been able to gather up enough strength. Um, it's interesting how they're building a small airstrip, or they're actually bit no, it's a yeah, they're building a small airstrip and they're building up uh, quadruple tracks, which will make it easier for me to move around here, but. They haven't bothered actually repairing the town council, which seems a little bit odd. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully, I'll see you guys for uh, the next one. Bye.